prepare for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles. Got another quick video for you guys. Today I'm going to be taking some typing tests because a lot of people have been putting in the comments, hell you type fast, oh my god you type fast. I posted some stuff on Reddit and everybody was like, man you type fast. So I'm by no means the fastest typer. I mean, I'm not even close, but you know, I, I think I have a pretty good typing speed and proficiency at it. So, since you guys wanted to see it, I'm gonna go ahead and videotape it for you. So, I've got two sites up right now. I have typingtest.com, which is the first one, and that's more of a conventional typing test. You pretty much get a paragraph of text, you type it out. If you make errors, you can skip them or go back and repair them. And uh, I'm gonna do that one first. And then I'm gonna do typeracer.com, which is a new Skype site that I discovered through Reddit. And it's actually really badass. It makes it almost like a game. It basically pairs you up with other random people and you have typing tests and race each other. You can't make any mistakes. You have to actually go back and correct your mistakes before it lets you proceed in the race. And whoever gets the furthest in the text paragraph within the allotted time wins. Well, it's actually not the allotted time. It's whoever finishes the block of text first. Um, it's actually really cool. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, for my first test here, I'm gonna do English, one minute, Aesop's Fables. My biggest limiting factor is just the concentration. It's not, it's not actually my fingers. So one thing you'll notice if you're watching this camera down here is that on my right hand, I only use two fingers to type and I use my pinky for backspace and enter. It's just a style that I developed over the years um, because I didn't learn how to type conventionally. I'm a very unconventional typer. All right, so let's, let's belt this out and see what it looks like. Oops. Okay, so right here, as you can see, I have 125 words per minute typing speed. I had 13 word errors, so that, that was pretty bad. I probably should have went back and corrected some of that. So my adjusted speed is 112 words per minute with the errors deducted. Now, that's probably one of my, my worst runs, to be honest, but you guys know I don't like editing my videos. I didn't want to do like a hundred tests and then just, you know, record the best out of all of them. I wanted to give you guys kind of a real sample of what it's like, so I'm going to just do a continuous video. So now that we've done a typing test, I'm a little bit warmed up now. Let's go do typeracer.com. So I've already signed up on here. You can actually race me if I'm online. Um, I'm under Jerry and then in parentheses Barnacles. And uh, you pretty much, you can practice, you can race your friends, so I can actually invite you guys to race me, that's pretty cool. Yesterday I was on the leaderboard at 135 words per minute, but that was like sheer luck. Somehow I didn't manage to make a single mistake typing the whole thing and it just went fluid. Um, I've yet to replicate that, so don't expect that today. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and enter a typing race. It's gonna pair me with a bunch of people and we're just gonna start racing and I'll just do a couple races for you guys. It counts down, it's pretty cool. You got like a stoplight here, so it's okay, get ready. Here we go. Two, one, and now we're racing. Oh, see, I already made a mistake, got stuck. Ah, they're gonna get me. Up. Man, I got dyslexia problems this morning. All right, so that was horrible. I don't think I've ever done that bad before. I blame the camera, like usual. 
So, uh, so that was only 79 words per minute in fourth place. So let's go ahead and try this again. Get a new block of text. So it's counting down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Why is that not working? Oops. All right, first place in 98 words per minute. You guys saw how many mistakes I made and how tied up I got. So um, this is actually really cool because Type Racer rates you on your words per minute based on like, uh, you, you have to get everything perfect. You can't skip over it. On other typing tests, you can just go, ah, just keep going, skip punctuation, skip things like that to get really high typing speeds. This will not let you do it. You have to correct everything. All right, let's do a couple more races. Each time it gives you a different block of text too, so you can't really memorize it. See, already, already all screwed up. You can also abort out of a race, so if you do like really horribly, you can just go back and start another race. Because usually once you make like a really bad mistake, you know, you're, you're, you're blocked mentally. All right. Third place, 110 words per minute. So that was a little better, but you saw I still got hung up on some things. You actually get incredibly high typing speeds if you don't make any mistakes and it's just nice and fluid. Because when you make a mistake, you have to look down to figure out what it was, backspace and correct it, and that costs a lot of time. Okay, that was 109 words per minute, first place. Let's do another one. Wow, I'm kind of all over the map today. All right, get ready. Four, three, two, one. Oops. See, all it takes getting hung up on one word like that. And I just threw the race at 103 words per minute. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit of a different camera angle here. All right, we're gonna enter another race here. Come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one.
Oh man, fail boat. It's only 95 words per minute. Got hung up on a lot of the words. You'll notice when you type, if you have to type words that you don't type regularly and you don't have that muscle memory for it, that it takes a little while because you have to look at each letter and type it. <laughs> Come on. Oh man, I'm making way too many mistakes. Alright, last race guys. Let's make it good. Come on now. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright. Come on now. Constant station. What the hell is that word? longest word ever all right it's only 92 words per minute on that one but anyways you guys kind of get an idea you know it's it, it's highly dependent on uh, you know what I'm typing and whether I know the words or not I also do a lot of coding so things like punctuation and things like that don't bug me as much but some people they bug a lot but anyways now you got an idea of how fast I can type all right guys well that gives you a sample of pretty much how fast old Jerry can type here so some days I'm faster than others. It depends on a lot of factors. Uh, when, when, you, when you type, you know, between 110 and 130 words per minute, little things affect you. Like, for instance, this morning I'm having a little bit of joint pain in my fingers because I was a little dehydrated last night. Um, so I can't move my fingers as fast as I would like. But uh, so, so it does vary a little bit. And then yesterday I tried to actually videotape my typing test. I wanted to post this video last night. But after an entire day of working and coding and write, you know, typing literally thousands, if not tens of thousands of characters, um, my fingers were so sore and stiff, I couldn't get over 110 words per minute no matter what I did under the most optimal circumstances. So I'm doing this video in the morning. I just woke up. I just had my coffee. It seriously makes a big difference. So another thing I found typing tests are kind of good for, and, and I just discovered this completely by accident, is to figure out how well you can concentrate and like how good your brain is firing. So try this. I want to I see if this helps you guys too or, or gives you some perception of how, you know, uh, how well your mind is working. Wake up in the morning, have your coffee, get really fresh, get really clear, sit down and do like 10 typing tests. Then at the end of the day, when you're actually starting to get tired and you're starting to get run down after a full day of working, especially in an IT field, try to sit down and do the typing tests again, do 10 typing tests. You'll find that like your reading comprehension slows down, looking at the words, just things, things just don't mesh and pop as quick as they do in the morning. So give it a try. I'd love to hear your guys' comments. Post your scores down in the comment. I hope every single one of you just seriously creams me. Um, but please post your scores. Uh, I want to see how well everybody else is doing. Um, also, go over to the Facebook page and sign up. Post your scores there. I talked to a lot of you guys on Facebook, so if you haven't gone over there yet, please do. And uh, that'd be awesome. So, guys, I hope this video gave you a nerdgasm. Uh, if it didn't, totally understand. Typing tests are kind of lame. But a lot of you guys requested it, so I went ahead and provided it because that's the kind of, you know, kind, nurturing person I am. And uh, always remember, fat people work harder. It's true. We do. We either work harder because we want to or we work harder because we're just fatter and gravity's pushing on us. But anyways, fat people work harder. I love this shirt. I had this made on Metacafe. Um, so guys, until next time, this is Nerdgasm signing off.